previously on In My 20s. I love friendship. So last week I introduced you to all my friends and tried to give a little bit of advice about friendships in your 20s. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love friendship so much. I love people and I love to be around human beings constantly. Well, people I know. I thought I should do a complete 180 this episode and try to get comfortable being alone, going to the gym, going to a coffee shop, just hanging out by myself because a lot of people say it's part of the human experience and it's something we should learn to enjoy. Good morning, girly pops. It's Monday morning. It's not that early, actually. I've been procrastinating. I'm trying to get myself to go to the gym right now, but it's been kind of a while since I've gone to the gym alone because I was getting consistent for the first week and then we went to California for five days, totally broke the routine, and now the fear has built back up. But once I start going again for a few days in a row, it won't be that bad. My routine has been to just make a little coffee and then go to the gym, but if I procrastinate too long and get hungry, then I eat a Kodak, Co Kodiak cake, not Kodak, like Phil. So, so hot, freaking hot, oh my gosh. Oh, let's do this. I'm hyped up, I'm so hyped up. Yes, I am, no I'm not, let's go. Okay, I just pulled up and it looks so incredibly empty. So I'm very hyped up. I'm actually feeling very hyper, which is perfect because today is a big booty Judy day. I'm gonna walk in and I'm immediately going to sit down, do hip thrusts, then I'm gonna do some dumbbells, and then I'm gonna get on the stair stepper, which is gonna hurt really bad after doing a leg workout. Excited? for life, honestly, which is a great feeling on a Monday. Usually I feel overwhelmed on a Monday. Watch this. If you wear a mask and you wear ginormous headphones, it's like you're literally in a different dimension and no one knows, no no one can see anything. Yeah, this is the cheat code. Like who is going to, like I'm in a different dimension right now. I guess that's a little bit of my gym anxiety advice. And another really big tip is to stop looking at people because I remember when I first started going to the gym, I was just so terrified and freaked out by the whole idea that all of these strangers were coming into this one area picking up and putting down heavy things and not acknowledging each other. And then I realized that because I was staring at all of them, they would look back at me and then I'd be like, oh my gosh, why is everyone looking at me? And it was because I was looking at them. So if you just don't make eye contact with people, it is a thousand times more comfortable in the gym. And now I actually am starting to enjoy it, although it's still hard to get myself to walk in alone. Once I'm actually there, I find it very peaceful. Yeah, I don't know, that's my advice, but I still have gym anxiety. So it's like, I think that one day I'll just get over it, especially once I'm super swole, then I'll definitely get over it. I was about to come on here and talk about how I had an amazing day at the gym. I had so much energy for some reason. And then I drove home and I had the scariest experience with a road rage driver in my entire life. The light turned green, so I started going. And these are like small back roads. This truck from the left pulled out of the gas station really fast, but I was already going, so we were about to collide. And then he got really pissed off at me, so instead of like stopping he sped up and like it felt like he was trying to hit me like i literally was like bracing for impact because i could have sworn we were so close to like hitting each other and so i sped up so that we wouldn't and then he got mad that i sped up because now i was in front of him so then he like sped up super fast like went around me and he was in a truck which <laughs> is just scarier for some reason and then i was nervous that he was gonna follow me because he was so mad and like middle fingers and just oh it would have been so scary if he actually hit me though and then we had to get out and talk to each other i think i would have rather just stayed in my car that was so scary and it's so weird to go through those experiences alone in your car as like a small woman. It's just literally terrifying. And it's so weird because I made a different vlog a while ago on my vlog channel where I spent the day alone and I tried to go to a movie theater alone to like for the first time just experience that. And I had a scary experience with the guy next to me who was like screaming when the movie got loud and then not talking. <laughs> it was just so weird. But before any of that happened, God bless that I did not get hit. All is well, he didn't follow me or anything. I drink my protein, I'm gonna go shower and then give you this update about how much I've been loving being an active person. Not necessarily like working out to look a certain way, but just like sports with my friends and going on walks and stuff. Let me go shower. I was a, we had fun. But our trails were Ryan forever, yeah. yeah, I'm a chef now. My face is so tan compared to my body. Okay, I've been making these protein pancakes and turkey bacon, and I just love the routine of working out and then feeling that buzz in your body. Taking a shower feels so extra good after workout and then making myself a meal. It's just the simple things. It makes life feel good. My back really hurts though. <laughs> I need to stretch. The other side of my back hurts, which usually it's the left side. See, the issue is I don't know what to stretch to make it feel better, but this one usually feels like it's getting it. I feel like I did too much at the gym because I'm really tired now. <laughs> I'm gonna need another coffee. I did 40 minutes on the stair stepper. Granted, I did level five instead of six, but it didn't even feel hard this 
this time. That's why I was confused why I had so much energy, but get this. This is my favorite thing ever. I grew up playing sports or just like, you know, having fun playing sports at school with my friends, nothing serious. But before I found dance, I tried like soccer, basketball, volleyball. And now our group of friends here loves to play sports. So lately we've been playing ultimate frisbee, which is kind of like football, but with a frisbee. You have to throw it, your teammate catches it, and then they can't move, and then they have to throw it to the next person, and they catch it, they can't move. It's so fun, and it's like tons of running, and that is just one of the most fun ways to be active ever. It makes you feel so good and happy after because you're just having a good laugh with your friends, some friendly competition, the sun is out, you're getting to experience nature, but you're also getting active. And I feel like I woke up so positive and with so much energy today because I've been more active, like going on walks, playing sports, so then my sleep is like way better and not restless. And then I wake up, I don't know, just something about it. it I feel different, like my body feels different and I really enjoyed the gym today and I'm really excited to go on a walk later. Like once you get into the habit of it, I feel like your body just craves it. Like my body just craves going on a walk right now. I'm talking about how much I love physical activity, but I feel like it could just collapse right now. Oh, I'm popping all over. Also, this little jumpsuit was a gift. So cute. It's from Free People. I love Free People so much. It makes me want to change my whole style to be a granola girl. I'm reading this book right now, 99 Days by Katie Kotugno. I did a book shopping vlog and haul on my second channel, and I'm kind of obsessed with this book, so I'm going to use it as an excuse to read while I stretch a little bit. Oh, man, I just want to curl up and sleep. Okay. So I know this video is about me getting over, like, gym anxiety, just doing things alone in general. I'm getting ready for a coffee date with a friend, but she's moving in, like, a week so this is priority but anyways i think something i've recently learned about myself is that i'm actually an extrovert but i didn't know that because i have social anxiety in public and like certain random situations but then i realized introverts you lose energy hanging out with people and extroverts you gain energy because i was gaining so much energy that it was kind of scary that was kind of a fun realization like oh i'm a extrovert with some social anxiety that's a really fun little mix keeps things interesting keeps things spicy but because i'm an extrovert i think i generally just don't like to be alone and I feel like it's because people bring out parts of me that are not brought out when I'm alone which I hope doesn't mean that I'm bad company for myself <laughs> because I was an only child growing up and I feel like I could always entertain myself I was always getting into new little hobbies and that's why I like get obsessed with things and like research all of them I don't really stay bored but if I were to go on a walk or go to a coffee shop I would rather do that with people even if we're silent I would enjoy it more I guess in this vlog we're going to explore not doing that because when you're uncomfortable you learn a lot about yourself, so let's go be uncomfortable. But first, I'm gonna be comfortable because I'm gonna be with Lily, so that'll be really fun. Oops, my Instagram story. Pop off. I'm pretending to be granola today because my hair is oily. Here's the thing, right? Something I do love alone is car time. I wish I could do every car ride alone. I love to sing. I actually have a really weird irrational fear that my phone is like randomly gonna go on Instagram live while I'm belting my heart out, or that like someone is pranking me and they're like in the backseat or they're like recording. I don't know why, it's just because I really go hard in the car by myself. But I'm parked, Lily's not here yet, and the thought of me having to like walk there alone, holding my camera and all my stuff, I just, that's the part that makes me anxious. I don't know why. Like I want to meet up with someone and walk with them because I just feel like a freak for being alone, even though like most people are alone. It doesn't really make any sense. What's your irrational fear? Lily brought her own coffee creamer and I thought it was hilarious. It's so good. Sweet cream creamer, y'all. I love coffee dates. Invite me for a one-on-one -on -one conversation and my heart just soars, okay? But it's time, okay? It's time for me to go be by myself and experience that and see what comes of it, so. Let's do it. Good morning. My face is so tan. It looks like I put bronzer on my face, but it's just from the sun and then nothing else is tan. I am struggling this morning. I woke up late and I've just been sitting here. It's one of those days where I don't have a clear plan for the day. And instead of actually sitting down and figuring out a clear plan, I'm just procrastinating and scrolling on my phone and going on TikTok. My eyes already hurt from being on my phone too much in the morning. Obviously I have my Bible open, but I haven't read it yet because I'm scrolling on my phone. Don't want to go to the gym because my body's sore, but I'm not even doing legs again. I'm gonna do like arms, which are not sore at all. But I do have a lash appointment today at 11.30. So I should go to the gym and come home and shower before I have to go do that. And then I wanna go somewhere alone after I get my lashes done to read Atomic Habits, maybe read my Bible more. So yeah, I thought I would turn my camera on just to, I don't know. I feel like I keep saying like, oh, like guys, these I'm making these videos, but like I'm still having low moments, but I'm not showing the low moments. Not that this is like a low moment. That's a little dramatic, but it's not, it's not productive. It's not something that I would want to show it's not like improvement really it's kind of me going back to my my old ways so yeah <laughs> just thought i'd let you guys know that i'm procrastinating oh my gosh look at my eyes whoa this kind of looks like a really cool thumbnail a ryan trahan thumbnail 
If you sit for too long, you're gonna convince yourself not to do it. That's why the five second rule exists because it only takes five seconds for you to convince yourself not to do something. Okay, I'm going. I'm wearing these new leggings that Set Active set me. They're so pretty. I love looking at them. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving right now. Let's go. Have you guys noticed that this entire video has just been me procrastinating hanging out by myself? Oh man, I am not lying to you when I say it makes me uncomfortable and I do not like it. In public, that is. Okay, I just got my lashes done. They look real thick on the first day. I'm gonna go to a coffee shop alone. Ooh, scary. I'm so scared. No, I'm kind of excited actually, but I don't wanna film myself alone, that's for sure. But I'm going to, actually I don't think I I've ever been to a coffee shop alone. Is this a first time experience for me? Something I wanna work on actually is I'm not very in tune with my own emotions and I get very jumbled thoughts and I think I just need to actually like journal them down. So I'm gonna do that and I'll let you know how my experience goes if I figure anything out that I was wrestling with prior to this experience. Got a coffee and I forgot my bag with my computer and my books and my Bible and everything that I was gonna do, but I did grab my book and I have 30 pages of it left. So I'm just gonna sit in this very empty park, which should make me feel more comforted because it's very empty and I'm just going to read my book alone and that alone is going to make me uncomfortable and I need to get uncomfortable so let's do that extremely peaceful and also a little bit eerie. There's like no one out here. It's such a busy park usually. There's like no one even near me to hear this, but I still feel strange. I can just see people out in the distance living their lives, but it seems so far away and it's so quiet. I must really not like hanging out with myself because I don't, I'm just, because I've been procrastinating going to a coffee shop alone for like an hour and a half. Here's my outfit. I figured if I felt confident in what I'm wearing, then that would take some of the pressure off, you know? Or maybe I'll go to the park, but I need to get a blanket for the park. I actually have Bible study tonight, and I have to do like two chapters of this, which is probably gonna take an hour and a half, so I actually need to get this done somewhere. Yesterday, my time at the park was good, but I didn't have a blanket, so I just felt kind of strange sitting there on the grass for 15 minutes and then leaving. Hmm. What should I bring? Okay, let's try this being alone thing again. <laughs> As you can see, it was a bit of a windy day. It's been kind of cloudy and windy and kind of, uh, I don't know, makes me a little bit downtrodden to be honest. Is that a word? Oh, downtrodden is not what I thought it meant. It just makes me feel a little bit down. But what did I learn about myself this second time hanging out in the park alone? Well, what I've learned even just me editing this video is that I am an avoider. I avoid emotions. I avoid anything that is not a positive feeling, including that of being uncomfortable in public alone. I think I really need to make it a goal to actually journal every day and see if that transforms the awareness of my emotions. And I need to just keep forcing myself to do uncomfortable things. I picked up some groceries, curbside pickup, and you know, that was nice. And for the sake of the series, I really wanna be like, wow. I just love being alone now. Honestly, I prefer it. That's just not the truth yet. Like I feel really tired, which is probably because of the weather and because it's like midday slum, but I get so much energy from hanging out with people and I feel like I lose energy being by myself, but I love being by myself at the airport, in the car and at home. I could gain energy from those things. Like I'm very excited to just read and like do the journaling thing at home, but it feels like my brain is working overtime when I'm outside because I'm also a paranoid person because I'm a small woman. Then I just come home and I feel a little bit exhausted. It was nice to journal and self-reflect. You guys are giving me energy. This feels like a social experience. Is that good or bad? Who knows? I got my bang to swoop today, kind of. I still don't know how to do my bangs. See, usually right now I would be listening to a podcast in the background, but I'm being silent right now. It actually feels very therapeutic. Spock just awkwardly stands there the whole time. Good cakes. So did I learn the beauty of being alone? Mm, not yet. But 
I didn't know how much I loved being alone in airports until I was forced to do it over and over again. And now it's one of the most comforting feelings to me. So I'm gonna keep pushing and keep exploring the boundaries of my uncomfortability until one day I will watch this video and not be able to relate to it at all.